This week we are going back in time to visit the cliff dwellings of Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado. Unfortunately, all of the tours are closed and some of the sites due to current restrictions, but that wasn't going to stop us from seeing as much as we could. We started at the Spruce Treehouse Ruins and went counterclockwise throughout the park, stopping at every ruin. Weatherhill Mesa Road was also closed, keeping us away from that side of the park. Some Indians used to live down there. Yeah, that was a real Indian home. Where's the root? It's not there. Rope. Well, guys, what do you think about this one? I love old structures and imagining them in their heyday filled with people and full of daily life. This week at the park, we got a glimpse of that by being able to walk among Native American homes, kivas, temples, and other dwellings. Luke especially loved the pit houses. And all the kids love seeing how they built their homes a thousand years ago. What do you like about pit houses, Luke? That they're just villages and they remember me from the past. What? Well, Cool. Yeah, I think I got it. Did you even look at it? I did. All right. This was a kiva, this was a special place. You know, what do you think so far about Mesa Verde? Cool. Why? Okay. Uh, Go ahead and finish eating. <laughs> Luke, what do you think? Um, because all the Indians. Just think a thousand years ago, Indians could have been right here eating their lunch. Yeah. Macy, what do you think? I think it's cool just being able to see what um, the Indians' houses were like and made. It was really neat, huh? Uh -huh. Dina, what do we got for lunch today? Um, Cup Brits, of fruit. Brits and tuna and fruit. Like a chicken tuna. salad type thing. Hi. We're at... Where is it? We're at Mesa Verde National Park. Mesa Verde National Park. It's the end of May. A lot of stuff is closed, unfortunately. So we can't do any of the tours. Um, but we've been trying to see all the sites we can without the tours. So we'll have to come back and go on a tour so we can go in the ruins, like in with a ranger, and he can teach us more stuff. But it's about 80 degrees. It's super nice. We're in the shade, just eating lunch on top of the mesa, and it's been fun. Built to last, a lot of these structures are over a thousand years old. Native Americans lived in this area for about 700 years, from 600 to 1300, and the park protects roughly 5,000 archaeological sites, including about 600 cliff dwellings. It seems like every overhang has some type of ruins in them. They estimate that around 22,000 people lived in this area before leaving in the 1300s, probably due to a crop failure. Thank you. 
There's a stool so you can probably use this. Yep. Hey, Daddy, is that the one I was showing earlier? I see you, Luke. Hey. The park's main area takes you to a lot of pit houses and cliff dwellings. My favorite ruin we were able to walk around was the Far View House in Coyote Village. It's a small dirt road off of the Mesa Top Ruins Road and brings you to multiple dwellings. You are able to walk in and among Coyote Village, over to a small reservoir, and by multiple kivas. Dina, what does the sign say? Cow, cow Oat Valley? What does it say? Cow Oat Valley? Coyote Village. Coyote Village. So we've got some cloud cover, so we're just doing a short little hike around Farview sites or houses. Around Farview. We're going to Coyote Village. And we are camping. Not here. So people lived here for about 300 years. 300? Between 975 and 1250. That's a lot of years. Yeah, it is. Even though part of the park was closed and all the tours were closed, it's still worth the visit. And we can't wait to come back to learn from a park ranger more about these sites on a tour. And also visit the sites we weren't able to see this time. All right, well that wraps up our trip to Mesa Verde National Park. We're just driving home. We're actually right next to Canyonlands National Park, almost to Moab, as we're heading home. But Dino? Thanks for watching. Subscribe down here if you like it. We upload a new video.